To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. Pickup height is a very subjective uh, process. You're, you're basically, the end goal is that you set your pickups so that they have even output between them and they have even string to string balance. Now from guitar to guitar, the pickups may, they may look different. Maybe one guitar has a pickup that the treble side's a little higher or the bass side's a little higher or the neck's high or low. It just depends on the instrument and how your amp sounds. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of individual touch as far as pickup heights go. But we have some uh, good guidelines for getting you started uh, to get a good even output and you can go from there if you need to dial it in even further. So on a set of humbuckers, like on this uh, Gibson here, a good starting point is uh, a sixteenth of an inch away from the strings on the bridge pickup and three thirty seconds away from the strings on the neck pickup. Now the way to measure that is uh, with your string action gauge. You have a little ruler on the corner. Uh, one side is in inches and one side is in millimeters. We're going to use the inch side. And what we'll do is we're going to measure the pickup pull piece distance from the string. And we're going to set the bridge pickup at 1 16th and we're going to set the neck pickup at 3 30 seconds. I'll put the guitar in the playing position so that I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to push down the outer E strings at the last fret. So then I will take my ruler, put it right on the pull piece. This pickup measures about 5 30 seconds from the string, so I'm too low. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this pickup up a little bit to get it uh, 1 16th of an inch away from the strings. Get my Phillips screwdriver. One thing to be extremely careful of, uh, some Gibsons and uh, some pickup makers provide screws that are flat bladed so they don't have a Phillips head, they have the slot head. You have to be really careful when you're adjusting your pickups to keep that screwdriver tip solidly seated in that screw. It's really easy to jump out and hit the top of the guitar, which you would just be sad. Um, so if you're using a flat blade uh, screw and flat blade screwdriver, just be really careful that you keep that seated in the screw. Phillips doesn't jump out like that, so you can actually just turn it by one with one hand. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this and bring up this pickup until I get it a little closer and then I'll measure again. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and measure. And now I'm sitting at about just a tiny bit over a 16th. So I'm gonna raise it up just a bit more. So that's right at a 16th on the base side, a little low on the treble side. Let's bring that up just a bit more. The way the screw adjustment works on these humbuckers is the screw goes through the pickup ring and then into the pickup base. So as you tighten the screw, it lifts the pickup, and as you loosen the screw, it lowers the pickup. That's the same way with a Stratocaster or anything that has pickups that hang from a pickup ring or from a pick guard. Another way of mounting them is a body mount where the pickup screws go through the pickup into the body and then you would tighten the screw to lower the pickup and you would loosen the screw to raise the pickup. So now I'll remeasure and see where I am on my heights. So I'm right at a 16th there. I'm right at a 16th there. So my high and low are both at a 16th. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my uh, neck pickup to 330 seconds and this is way too close. So I'm gonna drop this down. <laughs> So I'm loosening the screw to lower the pick. Just get a tiny bit more. That looks good on that side. Okay, so now I've got both of them set at 330 seconds on the neck pickup. So what I'll do is I'll turn on my amp and just give a little listen. 
So when your pickups are correctly adjusted, you're gonna have a good full output. You're gonna have a, a nice solid tone. Um, they're gonna have, a, they're not gonna sound weak or thin. So we'll listen to the, uh, the bridge pickup first. sound very even volume wise. So what you're looking for is when you switch between the pickups, you don't get a drastic jump in volume. So these are really well balanced. Uh, they have a good, um, they have a good tone uh, between the two pickups. One's not too trebly, one's not too bassy. So it's a really a nice sounding guitar. So if you did find that maybe your neck pickup sounded a little bassy or a little trebly, you can drop one side and raise the other lower the bass, raise the treble, lower the treble, raise the bass. Um, if the neck pickup happened to be a lot louder than the bridge pickup, I could lower it further um, or I could raise the bridge pickup. You just have to mess around. You know, if it's too quiet, raise it. If it's too loud, lower it. For detailed videos on how to use each gauge during the setup process, please visit musicnomadcare.com for all our how-to videos.